In an off-the-grid house with 320 square feet, you try to do as much of your living outside as you can. Therefore, we have a beautiful large size deck right out here that gives you a view of the Prescott Wilderness. We have a fire pit here for you. I'm not going to pull it apart, but basically you take the top off. If you are going to have a fire on, pre on premises, we have burnable Duraflame logs inside this bucket along with a, an igniter. And you, can and you can put regular wood in here as well if you can find it. Make sure you keep the grate on top of the fire pit at all times because we do have a lot of soft tinder, dry tinder here. You have your basic uh, recliner, a place to have uh, wine and cheese and cigars if that's what your, your pleasures are or whatever it is that you like to do outside out here with the table. We do have a grill. This is a, a standard gas grill with an igniter. Turn it on, ignite it, and you should have gas there available for you. If we click, come to the side of the patio, this is your patio slash electrical outlets. You can't really see it very well, but your electrical panel is right back here. Uh, fuses should not be blown. It's not likely that you would do anything that would blow it, but if you did, that is your electrical panel. It's inside the pantry. Additional food items and drink items are here for you. They are yours if you want them. If you leave the door cracked just wide enough for your pets to come out of the of the house and they know how to get down or they know how to get to the outdoors and they go through the tunnel, you can drop the camera all the way through the tunnel and see the end. That is the supported kennel, which is four feet in height. And with that kennel, your pets should be protected from any wild animals that could come by. And there is a lot of wildlife in Prescott, Arizona. We've seen bobcats, javelinas, deer, many squirrels, large birds that are large enough to pick up my nine pound dogs and numerous other types of wildlife. So it is, you're definitely living in the wild here off the grid, even though you're only a mile from downtown historic Prescott.